Hi, I'm Matt Lushen, the Artistic Director and Co-CEO of the Malthouse Theatre. I'm sending you this message as this week we officially launch our 2020 Annual Supporter Appeal. And this year's campaign comes at a time of unprecedented uncertainty for everyone as we all adjust to a new sense of community. As you're all aware, Malthouse Theatre has temporarily closed its doors to play our bit in keeping everyone safe and to assist in the national effort to flatten the curve. But during our period of lockdown, we're also planning for when we can return to the Malthouse stage. And we can't do that without your help right now. It has been heartbreaking to lock the doors of this theatre. However, it's an old theatre tradition to leave a single light turned on in the middle of the stage when a theatre is left empty. It's called a ghost light. And like most traditions, it started for very practical reasons. It was left on so if someone stumbled into the theatre in the middle of the night, they didn't fall over in the dark. But I think the ghost light has now grown a haunting mythology. It illuminates and appeases the ghosts that are said to inhabit every theatre. And it's also a light for us at the end of the tunnel. Right now, Malthouse is working towards the day when it can turn off this ghost light and once again turn a spotlight on actors and artists and fill this building with audiences. The scale and impact of this pandemic has been overwhelming for the arts community and the Malthouse has been no exception. We've had to cancel eight out of the 10 shows we were performing this year. And this has meant that thousands of tickets have been returned and the majority of our projected box office income has disappeared for this year. This is crippling for a theatre company. It also means that over 50 actors, designers, directors, writers and stage managers will not be able to work with us this year. It is devastating for these artists and arts workers. And even greater sadness when you realise that many of these artists were presenting plays they've been working on for years or making their professional debut. Seeing this theatre and this building empty reminds me even more just how much joy and empathy and debate and cheek the Malthouse conjures, but only when it is filled with people, and how, without telling stories, live, in front of each other, for each other, how alone we can all feel. And when this pandemic has passed, it will be a time of mass reflection in Australia about what we love and what we need to change. Coming together to tell stories during that time will be a crucial ritual to shape and inspire our thinking. So we're using this time of the shutdown to make sure that when we return, we will be ready and more daring than ever before. Right now, we are working with writers and actors on new scripts and ideas in response to what is happening in the world. We're making comedies and tragedies, political works and, and beautifully personal works. As out of adversity comes resilience and imagination. This is, this is the power of the arts. It can engage our curiosity, lift our spirits, and bring us together. And we know how important these stories will be to our recovery. And so we need your support to keep creating and being creative during this lockdown this year so we can put these stories on our stages next year. At the end of this year, we hope to present Loaded from our 2020 season, as well as some of the headlining artists from the Comedy Festival. But next year, we want to have a full season of work for everyone. Some of the shows will be what you missed in 2020, but our priority will be creating a season of new works that are working with local artists, responding specifically and uniquely to what is happening in the world. And those works won't be created overnight. We need to start making them now so they can be performed next year. And as members of our theatre family, a season without your support just would not be possible. And therefore, we're asking you to help us weather this unprecedented storm and to aid our survival. I know this is a difficult time for everyone. There is so much hardship. So thank you so much for the support and giving you've already provided in the past. It is inspiring. Thank you. But Melbourne is a city that loves the arts and theatre is an industry that is familiar with thriving in the face of adversity. So we always hold a sense of hope. And as supporters, you are the hope to prevail, to rebuild, to create, and to come together again. This tax season, we're asking you to help us turn off this ghost light 
and bring back the artists and audiences to the Malthouse. We will be there with open arms to celebrate with you in the future. We will create crazy theatrical adventures together that I'm sure you will remember for a decade and be a place for all of us as a community to debate and generate new ideas for the future. Now is the moment when you can really make a difference to the future of the Malthouse and help us to create art now for all of us in the future.